okay so in this video what we are doing is we are going to be making dresses for the pregnant bodies that come with the sub 3d nina dev kit so we'll be using marvelous designer for the for the cloth making process but the process begins in blender you first need to determine the pregnant body you wish to make clothes for Okay, so as you can see, I've selected the Preg1 GA body now. I'll be exporting it as OBJ. You could equally export it with the hands and feet, but I'll be exporting as OBJ, just the body. Now I'm going to call, rename the object to what I wish. Selection only, then I'll bump up the scale by 100. <coughs> then I export my object now in a blank marvelous designer workspace in a blank marvelous designer workspace i import my obj as an avatar and the open type to open okay then i click ok to import and here is my pregnant body object in marvelous designer now i'll go ahead and make clothes for the body using the the h2 which is the uh would i say free polygon tool in marvelous designer so here we are simply okay Flip the normals to make the back side of the dress, bring it closer, use the end tool to sew the segments, click render. So I had to lift this dress up a bit so it could render properly. So using my Q tool. I lift the, lifted the dress up with the gizmo and now I have my dress for the pregnant body so I could select everything now remesh and then bump up my particle distance down to 10 for more detail and then re-render now everything looks looks modified you can see the folds at the back then um, here is with the wireframe on surface preview now I've exported <coughs> OBG selected. Make sure you have weld, select all patterns and thin as your export options. Now I'm importing that same OBJ. Now since that OBJ is hundred times the size of the body, I'm going to first apply all transforms, then scale down by 0 0.01. Now that I've scaled down it is now time to go to uv editing and sort out my uv maps so here i am sorting out my uv maps so seams from islands may not always work for your marvelous designer imports <clears throat> so at times you may have to do your seams manually so here i am manually outlining my seams so you might have to <clears throat> you might have to check very well because you may not catch all the vertices that constitute these seams at a go so make sure you check very well when doing your seams manually and test with the face select and L to select linked so you test that it works appropriately now mine is working appropriately so I'm stretching out the UV to cover as much space as possible and now that I'm done with my UV maps I'm creating materials I'm creating materials for the dress so I'm making a front and back material then I assign the back part of the dress to the material. Now I'm changing the viewport display colors. 
so we can see the dress better again viewport display colors do not affect your core material colors and now we have detail to preserve when making it fit to other body so we won't be using smoothing when uh, reshaping this dress for the other pregnant body so we're simply going to rely on our proportional editing tool so this is the process i am using the proportional editing tool <coughs> in edit mode to fit to the second pregnant body then i equally do the same thing again for the third pregnant body the same proportional editing tool Okay, so now that we are done reshaping the dresses to the different bodies, it is now time to rig <laughs> to transfer weights to our dresses. So we select the body we wish to transfer weights from, then shift select the dress, transfer weights, nearest face interpolated. And to preview our our rigging we now have to parent the dress to the clothing armature with empty groups with empty groups now we can preview our our weight paint results you can see we have jagged edges so we need to do a bit of smoothing so select everything with the vertex select and smooth all groups with an iteration count of two now it's all fine it looks fine enough now let's just test the rigging with the poses that come with the dev kit in the timeline then i'll rename the dress for something that i can easily reference so now you can see that we have the dresses all in the clothing exports we have them all in the clothing exports collection which isn't a good thing so we need to create a new collection we need to create a new collection where we can store our dresses temporarily because ideally what's meant to be in the clothing export collection is just the it's just the item you are exporting at the moment so well, i made a new collection by right clicking the main scene and new collection so now i'm transferring weights to the second pregnant dress with the same process the same process as before nearest face interpolated smoothing my <coughs> my paint groups same thing with the third dress and just adjusting the the shape a bit then uh, I will now transfer the weights. Same process, nearest face interpolated and smoothing the groups. Then I parent <coughs> with empty groups to the armature. Now that the dresses are ready, it's time to export them one by one. So one by one, you drag them back into the clothing export collection and you click export after limiting the bones then since it exports as your blender save name your blender file name you have to re rename upon each export so that the files don't override each other when you're exporting them so remove that out of the clothing export collection then move back in the second pregnant dress all right then export this second pregnant dress so let's rename the file let's okay 
then for the third pregnant dress as well we'll have to do the same thing okay then we also should rename the third pregnant dress as well okay so now we're in IMV studio and uh, we need to start importing the dresses so I'm importing the first pregnant dress and putting it on 5 on body part ID 5 since this is a full body dress mm, we uncheck the animation we do not need the animation do not need the animation and then we add our MCG layer And this is essentially our first pregnant dress this is what it looks like in our view so let's repeat the process for the second dress <coughs> again using material body parts id5 and unchecking the animation Okay, and this is what our second pregnant dress looks like in IMVU. Now onto our third dress. Hmm, using five again. And this is what our third dress looks like so thank you for being a part of this hope this helps clarify the process for making pregnant dresses